So some of these wood types you really don't want to sweat on because they're really porous and they're just going to absorb all that moisture and it's, it's not a good scene. So the less porous woods are harder. They, they've been grown slower, they've been grown in natural settings, not farmed wood, not this like fast growth, you know, just get it out, sell it commodity thing. You can uh, see the aging happening in very uh, uneven ways and this uneven aging happens with cracks. And the reason this uh, happens is because these are farmed trees. And farmed trees actually utilize fertilizers and uh, you know, growing techniques and you know, ver various watering methods that you know, for sure accelerates the growth of the wood, but at the cost of the quality. And there is really no way around this because the financial incentives are for this kind of practice. You know, the more wood they can uh, grow, the more they can uh, sell. Uh, so the answer is to get wood that is actually sourced from natural forests. And you, you're not going to see these kind of uh, strange, you know, almost like, it sort of looks like it's a mutant, you know, you know wood that... Uh, possibly has absorbed some of the chemicals utilized in growing it. Uh, but more importantly, even, you know, all science aside, you, you just don't want something that's going to break. Actually uh, discovering a tree and, and, and really, you know, taking something with some true history, the center of that tree, and making a sauna out of it. That's what I look for. Look for some hard wood that I can sweat on. Because, let's be honest, you put a towel down, great. But what happens when a drop beads off my nose and then whoop, drips down and ruins my sauna. So I want a sauna that can actually handle being sweat on.